you can simply find everything in the global ocean, huge squids, majestic whales, and sea dragons. But not only nature may surprise you, as people have begun to conquer the sea by making underwater travel possible. China advances further by proposing to build the largest underwater railway tunnel ever. China continues to expand what is already one of the world's most remarkable high-speed rail networks. Having expanded their network to every region of China, Beijing may now be looking further afield, possibly as far as across the Pacific. Reports have surfaced that China plans to construct a high-speed railway line stretching 13,000 kilometers KEM, from mainland China, across Siberia and eastern Russia, and finally beneath the sea to Alaska. The spectacular underwater bullet train network connecting China, Russia, Canada, and the United States is on hold for the time being. But in today's video, we will look into whether it's a far-fetched idea or a practical possibility. Although this may sound far-fetched, Japan already has an operational underwater train line called the Seikin Railway. Located 140 meters below the surface of the ocean, Japan's 53.85-kilometer railway tunnel connects Honshu Island with Hokkaido Island. The Seikin Tunnel is now the longest and deepest railway tunnel in the world, with over 23.3 kilometers of the tunnel being below the seabed, making it the longest Undersa Tunnel in the world. If Japan is able to achieve this impressive underwater train experience, what is standing in the way for China to achieve theirs? It was first reported that China and Russia were far along in their negotiations to build a railway line beneath the Bering Strait, and hence plans for this concept were first proposed in 2014. The ambitious idea garnered a lot of attention from the media at the time, with numerous outlets reporting that it would improve trade between China, Russia, Canada, and the United States. However, following the original announcement and subsequent excitement around the idea, not much more was heard about it, and there were no plans put in place for the construction to begin. In light of recent allegations that have been seen in the South China Morning Post, the proposals have been subjected to significant criticism on account of the proposed expenditure of $200 billion. Having said that, there are still signs that China's underwater rail project may still go ahead. This is due to China approving the world's first underwater bullet train in 2018, which aims to demonstrate that high-speed railways are feasible under the sea. In addition, there are still indications that China's underwater rail project may still go ahead. The building of the China-Russia-Canada-America railway line might give the capacity for up to 100 million tons of freight, which is equivalent to 8% of the total annual freight cargo that is transported between Europe, Russia, China, Japan, South Korea, Canada, and the United States of America. In addition to this, if high-speed trains were to run on the network, it would make it possible for passengers to travel between the United States and Russia in just over 20 minutes. Because some advocating for the project believe that it would connect the world, it has also been given the name Global Land Bridge. The project is extremely difficult to accomplish on a technical level, the expenses are through the roof, and perhaps most significantly, the political relations between the United States of America, Russia, and China are not exactly in the greatest possible shape. In addition to this, it is not totally obvious who will be responsible for the construction of the tunnel, as other parties appear to have their own unique goals. The most difficult undertaking in terms of its technical requirements is the Bering Strait crossing. If an underwater tunnel were to be built here, it would be the longest in the world, stretching out for more than 103 kilometers. The Channel Tunnel, which is now the longest tunnel in the world, is 50 kilometers long. Interbering, a corporation situated in Alaska, appears to be heavily involved in the project. In reality, the plan would mean building three parallel tunnels under the Bering Strait, as well as sections of rail that would connect to the rail systems on each continent. According to the company, completion of the project would take 12 to 15 years and would cost an estimated 35 billion US dollars. Having said that, just the Undersa link is included in it. As there are now numerous linkages that are absent, it is necessary to construct new infrastructure before this can become a global land bridge connecting China and the United States. On the Russian side, the nearest endpoint is about 3,000 kilometers away, and the project in Alaska would require the construction of a new rail line that is around 1,200 kilometers long. According to what Ed Peters writes in the South China Morning Post, 
The fact that different track gauges are used by Russian and American trains makes the situation even more problematic. The fact that there is no existing infrastructure to support the project creates a significant monetary obstacle. The entire cost is anticipated to be close to $200 billion USD, which, in the opinion of the critics, is excessively high. The argument that since there are already established shipping routes, it is more feasible to continue shipping via ocean is one that is frequently voiced among critics. It is not out of the question that China and Russia will work together on this initiative. After all, they already share the world's longest railroad line, the Trans-Siberian Line, between their two countries. During the course of the last few years, the two nations have collaborated very closely in order to build a bridge between Europe and Asia. Constructing a railway line to the United States would be an extension of this joint endeavor. On the other hand, it is less likely that the United States of America will be willing to collaborate on this mega-project with Russia and China. The US and Russia do not have the best relationship at the moment, and because China is quickly becoming the most important economic actor in the world, it is possible that the United States will not be as keen to help assist China's progress. In order to successfully complete the project, each of the participating nations will need to pitch in and make a contribution. It is highly likely that the China-Russia-Canada-America line will continue to exist solely in the realm of fantasy until a consensus is achieved on the issue and finance is made available from all parties involved. There has been a lot of pushback from a variety of groups over the expense of the rail project and how much of that can be evaluated against the possible benefits, so at the present, it does not appear like there are any immediate plans to move forward with the rail project. As a result, it is virtually impossible to forecast when or whether it will take place. We sincerely hope that it does, as that would be a very exciting development. If China were to achieve this goal, it would represent a significant advancement on the country's path to becoming the digital economic leader of the world. However, it is still unclear as to whether or not it will truly take place. All we can do is wait and see. It is possible that it will be some time before we can travel by train across such extensive distances. In this video, we took a look at China's ambitious and fascinating underwater train line, which is a collaborative project involving China, Russia, Canada, and the United States. We have also talked about the possible economic and political gains for the nations that are participating, in addition to the benefits for the area as a whole. We hope you enjoyed learning about this project and that it piqued your interest, as it is still in the works. As we conclude this video, we'd like to leave you with a few crucial questions to consider. What are your thoughts on the mega project? How do you believe it will affect global trade and politics? What are your concerns? We'd love to hear your thoughts on this project. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.